Now, one of the things that uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain is how, how to do composition within a picture. The picture I'm going to be using today is a very, very balanced picture. And I'll go ahead and point all those things out as I go along. But if you look at the top and the bottom, uh, they're a little bit off with the, with the clouds. And anybody that was shooting this would have probably made that same error. But with a little bit of cropping, it ends up coming out to an even balance. So if you look at the two arrows that I have on here, I'm showing you exactly the areas that I'm talking about. You want that cloud base to match up or that, that, that sky to match up with what you have at the bottom if you're trying to make this type of a composition. The other part about this composition that you'll see is that it's been cut up into thirds, which I'll explain a little bit later. But it gives, it gives a, a real sense of balance, which brings a peace to the eye. Whether you know or don't know, what you're going to find is that 85% of the people that look at a picture like this will like the picture. Okay, next we're going to work on composition. Within composition, I've broken this picture down into three parts. Three, the three parts are not equal, but what I'm doing is, is usually your upper and your lower, you want to keep them the same. And your middle part can be wider or smaller, depending on the type of shot you're taking. In here, you'll see that I'm going to go ahead and put this picture with an X up. I want you to look at where the X is at as I remove it. When you're focused on that X area, what happens is, is you'll notice that it blurs to the top and to the bottom. This is something that your brain does naturally, or it takes a focal point, and then everything around it is considered peripheral view. Basically, as a photographer, what you're doing is, is you're always wanting to draw the eye of the viewer to a particular point. Now, you can do this with uh, depth of field, you can do this with vanishing point, things of that nature. That is taking your viewer where you want them to go. So it's important that you look for things that will draw your viewer's eye to a specific area, knowing that they can't see the picture as a whole. Okay, I was discussing splitting a picture into three individual parts where I've got the lines. If you go and you look at this, and you take that top area, which I'll go ahead and put some arrows up for that. Okay, you take this top area, and then you equal that to what's at your bottom area. Those should always be the same, whether they're vertical or horizontal. You want to kind of keep those within the same, the same amount of space that you're working with. The middle area can change. So the middle area, basically, you can make that real fat and the outsides smaller, or you can make that smaller and the outsides fatter. That will always keep a sense of an even balance to a picture. Checking the balance. What I'm going to do with this picture, which should amaze you and why I found it to be such an incredible picture, was I'm going to go ahead and remove the middle here and watch and see that the picture loses nothing when that's done. And there you have it. All I did was to crop out that middle section and you notice that the balance is still retained within the shot itself. This is one of the reasons I chose this picture in particular. I found that when I did this, it's really hard to find this type of thing in a picture where it doesn't distort a little bit one way or the other. So there you have it. Pretty much in a nutshell, you can just see that, that you know, how to compose a picture, how you want to put it together. Make it so that it's balanced when you're thinking things out. Understand, this is not dealing with the rule of thirds. This is splitting something into thirds. I want to make sure that that's very clear. Um, the golden keys to composition is always leaving your viewer either with a story, a thought, 
bringing them to a place that you want to bring them to, controlling their vision, all of that is built into composition. I hope this training has helped you to gain a greater understanding of composition and how you want to go ahead and put your pictures together. Any questions you may have, I'll do my best to answer. Thank you.